Hello and welcome to this workshop on the modes. Seems like every harp conference has something on the modes anymore. People are just wanting to know about it. So what I'm going to do today is kind of introduce you to the modes and show you little tricks about how to play in them. My name is Mary Stevens and I am the owner and program director of Harp for Healing which offers the Certified Clinical Musician Program um, for training for playing therapeutic music. The playing in the modes is very, very effective and very useful in playing therapeutic music at the bedside or in other meditative, uh, restful type settings. It's not required, but it's a very, very useful tool to have. So we might talk a little bit about therapeutic music as we go through the materials in the course. But first of all, what is a mode? Well, a mode is simply a scale. Um, now, in our Western training, we think of scales as major and minor. Well, there are lots and lots of different scales. Um, generally, a scale is a series of eight notes, with the bottom and the top note being the same pitch name, um, just an octave apart. And then there's a series of whole steps and half steps in between, to make a total of eight notes as you're moving up. But there are lots of different scales besides major and minor. And if you get into ethnic music and cultural music, um, there are many more modes than what we're going to talk about today. What we're going to talk about are the modes that came out of uh, the Gregorian chant and that type of heritage. So there are seven modes. There is the Ionian, the Dorian, the Phrygian, the Lydian, the Mixolydian, the Aeolian, and the Locrian. The ones that you use the most, of course, are major and minor, especially in Western music. And when we say minor, um, we're talking about the natural minor. So the Ionian is the same as the major scale, and the Aeolian or the, excuse me, yeah, the Aeolian is the same as the natural minor scale. So you already know two of the modes. Those no modes are familiar to you because those are the modes that are used a lot in Western music. If you're into um, Celtic music, you use a lot of the Dorian mode and the Mixolydian mode. Lots and lots of, of Celtic music is written using those two modes. If you're into flamenco type music, you're probably using a lot of Phrygian mode. The Lydian mode um, is kind of a fantasy fairyland, and there are um, fairy tale songs that are written in Lydian mode. So these modes aren't nearly as foreign as you might like to think, as you might suspect that they are. You already know songs in most of the modes, except for maybe the Locrian, because the Locrian is just a weird mode. It, <laughs> it doesn't work well at all. But if you think of Scarborough Fair, that's in the Dorian mode. A lot of Celtic music, like I said, Mixolydian or Dorian. Hoedown music is frequently in Mixolydian mode. Uh, Norwegian Wood by the Beatles is in a mode. And Disney's Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid, that's in the Lydian mode. The beginning of it is in the Lydian mode. So you, you, um, you already are familiar with some of the modes. Don't let them scare you. Don't let them scare you. It's just you have to learn a few tricks to work with them. That's all. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to work with the modes that developed out of um, Gregorian chant and that history, that timeline. There are several approaches to understanding and studying the modes. And you can use whatever works for you. It's good to have a knowledge of all three of them because sometimes what works in one situation, uh, another method might work in a different situation. So it's good to have all of them. The first method is to know where the half steps and the whole steps lie in that series of eight notes. Now, if you want to memorize the key signature and where the half steps are for every one of those modes, you go for it. That, does, that method doesn't work for me. That's too much memorization and they get all scrumbled up in here in my head. Uh, but that's one method. The thing to remember about these modes is that the pattern of whole steps and half steps where you've got two whole steps and a half step, and three whole steps and a half step, and two whole steps and a half step, and three whole steps. So you've got groups of two or three whole steps divided by a half step in between. 
that pattern is the exact same pattern in every one of the modes that we're going to talk about. The trick is just figuring out where do you start in the pattern. Now the Ionian mode, um, the one that we are most familiar with, the major, major scale, that one starts with the two half steps, and then it has a whole step, and then it has three half steps, and then a whole, then, I'm sorry, two whole steps, and then a half step, three whole steps, and a half step, two whole steps, and a half step, three whole steps, and a half step. So you start at the bottom of those two um, whole steps. That's the Ionian mode. And method two uses um, our familiarity with the major scales and relates all of the modes to one particular major scale. And you can play the modes in any key signature. Doesn't matter what the key signature is. Quite often in a workshop, you will be working off of the key signature of no sharps or flats, which we associate with the key of C major. Doesn't have to be C major. You can do any of the modes in the key of A flat, in the key of four flats, key signature of four flats. You can do any of the modes in that key signature. You can do any of the modes in the key signature of six sharps. It doesn't matter. Um, you just have to know where to start the pattern of whole steps and half steps. So we're going to start with, I suppose we should, um, let's go to the key of C, which is what we generally start with. Uh, but remember, you can do this with any key signature. It doesn't matter what your key signature is. So the Ionian mode, you already know. Just your C major scale. Okay. So any key signature that you name, you already know the Ionian mode because you know the major scale for that key signature. The Dorian mode starts on, now we're not going to change the key signature, we're not going to change any levers at all. The Dorian mode will start on the second note of that, that um, major scale that you're basing off of. Okay, So we're, we're in the key signature of no sharps or flats. The major scale we're working off of is the C major scale. The Dorian mode is going to start on the second note of that C major scale and then go up until you get back to D, not changing any levers at all. So here's your Dorian mode in this key signature. There's your Dorian mode. Now, when you're naming the mode, make sure that you always say your home base of that mode first. So what I just play is D Dorian, D Dorian. Just like we would identify um, the C major scale as C major, it's also C Ionian, we go up to the D, even though we're not changing the key signature, and we're, we're working with the D Dorian scale. You say your home base first, D is your home base. So then we go to the E. We're going to start on the E, go from E up to E. We're starting on the third note of the major scale that we're associating with this key signature. And we're going from E to E. This is the E Phrygian mode. Notice I say the E, the home base, and then I say the mode, Phrygian, E Phrygian. This is not C Phrygian. This is E Phrygian because E is our home base of the scale. So here's your E Phrygian mode. your E Phrygian mode. So we had C Ionian, in this key signature we had C Ionian, we had D Dorian, we have E Phrygian, and the next one is the F Lydian. F Lydian. That might sound funny to your ear, but like I said, listen to the beginning of Little Mermaid. That's Lydian mode. And because it's presented with confidence and we hear it repetitively through the song, it sounds okay to our ear. So it just takes a matter of getting used to the sound. Okay, so we did the C Ionian, we did the D Dorian, we did the E Lydian, we did the, I'm sorry, E Phrygian, we did the F Lydian, the next one is the G Mixolydian. G Mixolydian.
like I said, a lot of Celtic music uses the Mixolydian mode and... of um, hoedown type music and um, a lot of rock riffs will use the mixolydian mode. So we did the G mixolydian mode. Next one is the A aeolian mode. The aeolian mode is the exact same thing as the natural minor mode. Same thing as the natural minor scale. So when we say A natural minor scale, we say A minor scale. No, no sharps or flats in the key signature. It's also the A Aeolian scale. The D, Dori, or D Dorian A Aeolian are easy to remember because the name of the mode is the same as your home base in this key signature. That's not going to be true in other keys. Okay, and then the last one is the B Locrian mode. This mode is very difficult to play in effectively. doesn't really have any feel of home base. There's no feel of resolution. And part of that is because of the fifth note of the scale and the first note of that mode. The first and the fifth note are a diminished fifth. Um, and then your second, I mean your first movement is the half step. So this is, this is a scale where the half step is between steps one and two and between four and five. And that's what makes this mode sound just really, really odd. Um, and your one chord is a diminished chord. So it's, it's a difficult mode, like I said, to play with. Okay, so let's pick a different key signature and let's go through the modes in that key signature. I'm gonna pick the key signature of E flat, or three flats, I should say. The key signature of three flats is in our western ears we say oh that's that's the key signature of e flat right here's your ionian mode so that's the e flat ionian mode which is exactly the same as the e flat major mode if we move to the second note of that e flat scale that's an f so this is the f dorian mode It has the key signature of three flats, and it goes from F to F with that key signature. So in this key signature of three flats, we've got the E, I, e flat Ionian mode, we've got the F Dorian mode, we've got the G Phrygian mode. G Phrygian name the home base of the mode first and then the modal scale that you're using E G Phrygian and then we have the A flat which is fourth note of that E flat scale and we've got A flat Lydian mode listen for the fairy tale you're going to get in Lydian mode, that fairy tale feel. A flat Lydian mode. B flat Mixolydian mode. This is on the fifth note of that E flat scale. B flat Mixolydian. And then the relative minor of E flat is C minor. If you know your music theory, you know that. Um, but we're moving up now. We're on the sixth note of that E flat scale. Sixth note is the uh, home base of the Aeolian scale. So here's your C Aeolian scale. Name of the home base of the mode first, C, and then the mode, C Aeolian. D, here's that Locrian. And then we're back to E flat. Okay, so you can do that in any key signature. Doesn't matter what key signature you're in, you can do that. Okay, now there's a third method of identifying your mode, 
and this is relating each mode to either the major or the minor scale uh, with that same home base. Okay, so now we're going to go to, um, yeah, let's go to C. So we're back into the key signature of no sharps or flats. Remember, identifying the mode, we say the home base first. So we're going to work with C, and we're going to um, play as many of the modes as we can, starting with C as the home base. Here's where, especially on a lever harp, you're going to have some troubles and you won't be able to play every mode in every key signature because of the way that the levers work. If you're on a chromatic instrument, you can do it, um, but you might end up with some double sharps or double flats, so, you know, whatever. Um, we're only going to work in the easier, easier modes <laughs> to do this. So, there are three major sounding modes, and they are the Ionian, the Lydian, and the Mixolydian. Ionian, Lydian, Mixolydian. So the Ionian mode, of course, is the major scale. And then the Lydian scale. If I was going to play the Lydian scale with C as my home base, this is what it sounds like. Now, which note sounded off or different than the major scale? Here is your major scale again on a lower octave. Here's the Lydian mode. Same home base, same home base, same C. That's the one right there, right? Sounded weird. That's the fourth note of the scale. And it's raised a half step. So if I'm playing in C, Ionian, and I wanted to play C Lydian, I raised the fourth note of the scale a half step. So I'm going to raise the F to F sharp. There's that fairy tale again. I'm playing C and D chord. Major sounding modes, Ionian, Lydian, Mixolydian. Ionian, you know. The Lydian, the difference between the Lydian mode and the major, or the Ionian or major scale, is a raised fourth note. Raised fourth. Remember, we're keeping the same home base. We're not changing our home base. We're, we're so we're doing C. First, we did Ionian. Then we did the Lydian, raising that fourth scale degree. Okay, so that's C Lydian, C Lydian, with the F natural, C Ionian. Now, if we want to do C Mixolydian, listen to the scale. Well, first let's do the major scale, the Ionian scale. There's Ionian, here's Mixolydian. Which note sounded different? It was that one right there. Our Western ears want that to be T-Do. It's not T-Do, it's Tado. Count going up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The seventh note of the scale for the Mixolydian mode, the seventh note is the major scale with a lowered seventh note. So the Mixolydian mode is a major scale with a lowered seventh. So here's your C Mixolydian mode. It has that B flat because your B is your seventh note. You gotta lower it, so you have to take it down to B flat. There you go, okay? So those are your three major scales. And we can do this again in any key signature. Let's do this in the key signature of, uh, let's do D. Let's do the key signature of D. So we got two sharps or flats in the key signature. Here's your 
Ionian, D Ionian, which is the same as D major. Whoops, didn't get a lever in there. There's your D Ionian. If I want D Lydian, I'm going to raise the fourth note of the scale. One, two, three, four. G is the fourth note of the scale. I'm going to raise it a half step to G sharp. Here's your D Lydian mode. is the seventh note. We're going to lower it to C natural. So here's your D mixolydian mode. Okay. So that's how you get, if you know what, what you, your home base is, and you want the Ionian or the Lydian or the mixolydian mode, that's how you figure out the key signature for it. It's, it's a shortcut. You could also do the, the figure out, okay, which note, it's the fourth note of the scale. You know, it's, it's confusing to use the other method. This is a shortcut method. If you know what your home base is, and you can relate it to the major scale with that home base, then you can figure it out. Okay, for minor scales, let's go back to the key signature of no sharps and flats. For the minor scales, you already know the Aeolian scale. So in the key signature of no sharps and flats, we know that the Aeolian scale is the A natural minor scale. Okay. The modes that are associated with the minor scale, the natural minor scale, are the Dorian, the Phrygian, the Aeolian. Locrian sort of, but it's kind of weird. Uh, we're not going to deal with the Locrian just because it's, you're not going to use it anyway probably. So, Aeolian Easy to figure out. Just figure out, okay, if I want A to be my home base, what's the key signature for A minor? No sharps or flats. There's your A Aeolian. The Dorian mode is the same as the Aeolian mode, except that it has one note different. See if you can figure out where that note is. Here's Aeolian, here is Dorian, were you able to pick it out? It is the sixth note of the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six. In Aeolian, that's an F natural, because the F is the sixth note of the A minor scale. In Dorian, that F is going to be raised a half step to F sharp. So here's the A Dorian mode. A Dorian mode. A Aeolian mode. And again, we can do this with any, any home base that we want to use. Let's say we want our home base to be, let's do a home base of E, okay? So think in your mind, what's the key signature for E minor? Key signature for E minor is one sharp. So I'm gonna put my F sharps up. Here's your E natural minor scale, which is the same as the E Aeolian scale. the E natural minor scale. Now we're going to raise the sixth note of that scale to make it an E Dorian scale. One, two, three, four, five. C is your sixth note of the scale. I'm going to raise that to C sharp. Here's your E Dorian scale. E Aeolian. the sixth note and you've got E Dorian. Okay, 
So that's that's how you figure out if you know what your home base is, you know what you want to have at the note coming back to, but you want to play in Dorian mode, figure out the minor key signature of that same home base, raise the sixth note of that key signature, of that scale, and then you've got your, your uh, Dorian mode with that. Okay, so let's do some playing with these modes. Let's go back to the key signature of no sharps and flats. Um, and part of the reason that we go back to no sharps and flats is because people tune their harps differently. And so if we go to any other key signature, some people won't be able to play. But remember, you can do this in any key signature. It doesn't matter. Okay, so accompaniments. When you're first doing accompaniments, you want to start with just a simple, simple accompaniment. Start with just a drone. So I'm just playing the home bass. I'm playing the C. I'm in key signature of no sharps or flats. C Ionian is um, the major scale, right? So I'm just playing that. And you just want to do this. I'm just doing a simple scale in the right hand and a drone in the left hand. And then you can add the fifth to your accompaniment. And we know that in major scales, um, your most commonly used chords are the one chord four chord and the five chord. So um, that's what you're you're going to use for your improvisation. Now if we go to the Dorian mode, um, Dorian mode, we're not going to change key signatures, so we're going to use method two to figure out where's the Dorian mode in this key signature. We just played the major scale, major scale, the Ionian scale. Dorian mode starts on the second note of that scale. So we're going to be playing on D Dorian, because D is the second note of that C scale. So we're in D Dorian, D is our home base. Play the scale, and start with just a simple drone, just a simple D in the left hand. I'm just playing a D. Add the fifth above, so now I'm playing D A. common accompaniment pattern in the Dorian scale, the Dorian mode. The Dorian mode is very forgiving. You set up a pattern like that two times on the D minor scale, two times on the C scale, and back just back and forth between those two and you can do lots of improvisation up here. Just random notes. Oops, I've got an F sharp still in my levers. This is fun to do in a harp circle, where you've got the group, if it's a fairly small group, you've got everybody doing this in the left hand. And then everybody takes a turn improvising up, one at a time. And you just go around the circle and everybody gets a turn. And you'd be surprised at how good it sounds. It just sounds wonderful. So alternating between, in the Dorian mode, the one chord and the seven chord. And remember, you can do this in any key signature. So you're starting on your one, in this case, I'm starting on D minor. And I'm going down to C. I'm just playing open fifths in the left hand. Okay, so there's your Dorian mode. In the uh, Mixolydian mode, now remember in the Mixolydian mode, in the, in the key signature of no sharps and flats, your Mixolydian mode starts on G. So we're in G Mixolydian. This is another scale where the one chord, five chord, going back and forth between one and five works really well. Just go 
going back and forth and making something up in the middle, in the top. Improvisation is so fun because you can do whatever you want to. There aren't really, well, there are rules, but you can break all those rules that you want to because you're just making your own music. There's no one to say that it's right or wrong. It might not sound real good, but it's not wrong if it's what you do and you're improvising. So mixolydian, that's the mixolydian. Okay, the lydian mode. Improvising in the lydian mode, you're going to, again, use the, the single note until you get used to the sound of the mode. Let your ear get used to that raised fourth degree. Lydian mode, F is our home base in this key signature. So I'm playing a single F in the left hand while I'm playing the scale in the right hand. In the Lydian mode, instead of doing the one chord and the seven chord, you're going to do the one chord and the two chord. And that gives you that fairy tale. And in this one, you're going to want your accompaniment. You're going to want your accompaniment to do all three notes, because you want to incorporate that odd note in your accompaniment before you bring it in in the melody. You want to hear it in the accompaniment so that it's not a shock, such a shock to the ear. Otherwise, it sounds like a wrong note because our ears are so westernized. So you want to make sure that you play that fourth scale degree in the accompaniment before you add the melody. So in the Lydian mode, when you're first starting, use the one chord and the two chord, and, and just improvise off of those two chords. In the um, Aeolian mode, again, that's the natural minor mode, so it's the same as what you've been doing in all of your literature that you've been playing anytime you're playing in a natural minor scale. Uh, watch out, make sure that you, your ear doesn't want the altered scales. If, you get it, if you've taken music, music theory, you know that there are three minor scales for each key signature. There's the natural minor, which is the one we've been using. There's the harmonic minor with that raised seventh note, and then there's the, uh, I'm sorry, the and then the melodic minor, which has the raised sixth and seventh going up, and then back to natural minor going down. Um, so if, if that's foreign to you, don't worry about it. You don't need it for the modes. That's just for those who do have that music theory in their heads and they're going, wait a minute, what happened to that, that, that seventh note? Or the raised six and seven going up. Yeah, that's, that's a different thing. We don't use that in the modes. So, so stay with the natural minor. Don't add anything if you want the Aeolian mode. The only time you add like the raised fourth degree or the raised or the lowered seventh degree or whatever is if you are using method three to identify your mode. So don't worry about that. Um, for the Phrygian mode, you'll do a lot of Phrygian mode. You almost have to have you have to have three chords to play with in order to establish that Phrygian mode. So you want the one chord, the two chord, the seven, and back to the one. That seven one combination is very important to bring you back to home base. Um, so we're not gonna do a whole lot with the Phrygian because again, it's kind of an odd mode and the Locrian we're not gonna bother with. Um, so you've got some little chords there and on the handout there are a listing of chords that are most commonly used that you want to use when you're first starting with improvisation in playing in a mode. So now we're going to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to um, play a tune in all of the modes. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do Joyful Joyful We Adore Thee. But suppose I wanted to change the mood of that song. Suppose I wanted to change it to a different feel, a different sound, a different emphasis, um, a, a different expression. I can just change it into a different mode. 
I don't want to change key signatures because I'm on a harp and flipping levers is difficult. On a piano, it's a lot easier to uh, change into a mode with a different key signature and keep your home bass. Um, but the method we're going to use, we're going to move the home bass so that it's just like we said the Ionian scale. And then we moved up to this second scale degree of that scale to do the Dorian scale and changed our home bass to D, which is your second note. Okay, so here's, here's Joyful Joyful in Ionian. as we're going to go. And I'm just using two chords in the left hand, the C chord and the G chord, the one chord and the five chord. Okay, I'm going to change that into Dorian mode by shifting everything up one string. Now how do you do that if you're, if you're so glued to the notes you don't know how to do that? You do it by playing by scale degrees. So on Joyful Joyful, your first note in the key signature of C, your first note is an E. That's the third note of the scale. So we call that three. Three. We're going by scale degrees now. So it's three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One is your home base. One is back to the first note of the whatever scale you're using. So we started on three, 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 four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three. Three, two, two. And if you look at the handout, I've got this numbered out for you. Do not confuse those numbers with finger numbers or with beat numbers. This is scale degrees. And Ode to Joy is a fairly easy song to do this with because it doesn't move around and it's kind of repetitive. Um, it does start on the third note of the scale, so before you even start, you have to think, okay, what's the third note of whatever modal scale I'm using? Okay, so in Dorian mode, um, here's your Dorian scale again. I want to find the third note of that scale because my melody starts on note number three. So one, two, three, D, E, F. There's the third note of the scale. So I'm going to follow that same scale degree pattern. And you probably want to write this out. You don't want to try to do it by memory. You want to write it out. Three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, three, two, two, three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one. Let's add the simple drone in the left hand. Remember, we're going to start on the third scale degree, the third note of that Dorian scale. And here we go. Three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, three, two, two, three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, one, one. There we go. <laughs> and left hand, I was just doing the same pattern we used before, where I was hitting the, the D twice, going down to the C twice. Let's do it again, starting on the third note of that Dorian scale. Three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, down to the C chord. Three, two, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one. There you go. Suppose we wanted to play it in Phrygian mode. We do the same thing. We're just going to figure out, okay, Phrygian scale in the key signature of no sharps or flats. Phrygian scale starts on the E. Here's your Phrygian scale. And for this one, we're just going to stay on the E in the left hand. We're not going to move around because there's too many, it, it gets too confusing. Okay, so let's find, melody starts on note three. We start with one, two, three. Starting on E, Phrygian scale, E, F, G. Third note of that Phrygian mode is the G, so that's our starting note. 
three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, three, two, two, three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one. Sounds a little spooky, sounds a little strange, but it changes the mood completely. Okay, let's go to the Lydian mode. Lydian mode starts on F in this key signature, starts on F, goes to F. Uh, our left hand is going to use the F, F, C, that fifth in the bottom, and then move to the G and go back and forth between those two chords. Okay, we gotta find the, our starting melody note. Starting melody note starts on the third note of that modal scale. F, G, A. Our starting note is the A. So here we go. Ready? And three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, three, two, two, three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one. Again, that, that fourth note sounded really odd because I didn't introduce it um, at the beginning. If you introduce it, it, the ear will accept it a lot better. Okay, Aeolian mode. Aeolian mode in the key signature of no sharps or flats, we know, starts on the A. So we're going to start on the third note of that A, Aeolian scale. A, B, C, A, B, C. C is your third note. Start on C. That's the first note of our scale. And the accompaniment, we're going to go back and forth between the A and the G. Third note of the scale is the C. Here we go. Three, three, four, five, five, four. Three, two, one, one, two, three, three, two, two, three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one. There's the in Aeolian. Locrian. This is gonna be painful, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay. <laughs> Locrian mode starts on the B. Third note of that Locrian mode is the D. That's going to be our starting note is the D. In the left hand, to avoid that diminished fifth, we're just going to play the root. We're just going to play the B and the A. No fifth above, just the B and the A. Here we go. Third note, uh, the D. Right hand's on D, left hand's on B. Three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two. Three, three, two, two, three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one. Oh, that's painful. Okay. So that gives you an idea. That's how you start. And then you go from that. All right. So now I'm going to demonstrate what I might do with that tune in a therapeutic music session. I'm going to start with Ionian, and then I'm going to play it in several different modes, and listen to how the mood changes.
try it in Phrygia and see what happens. comfortable Ionian. And you notice how the mood of the piece changed completely when I played into a different mode. And that's another way that you can get more mileage out of a song, is you just learn how to play it in a different mode. So I encourage you to play with these um, and have some fun with them and just see what happens because it's it's really kind of interesting to take a song and play it in a different mode. Um, it just opens up a whole new world of expression. But you do have to play with it quite a bit so that you can get your ear to not expect that tune that you know and allow it to change um, into a different mode and into a different feel. So have fun with the modes and if you want to take my other workshop you will get some more experience in playing and transposing into a different mode and into a different feel and using different accompaniment patterns in the modes. So enjoy the conference and I hope to see you again. Bye!